What's up guys, it's your boy Jabba Boyman 8 here. I am gonna be doing the Goodwood Festival Speed Hill Climb. That is in the GT6 special events, first GT6 video, and not the last GT6 video because there are gonna be many, many, many videos on Grand Turismo 6, so yeah folks, I hope you guys are enjoying these uh this coverage on my channel. And um, hope and hope uh, you will stick around uh, for all of my brand music coverage. So, without further ado, let's get into the first challenge. The I'm going to be doing these three, and um, no more. So, section one out of three. Section one, challenge one out of three. And um, I bet a lot of you guys are, are going to be saying. What do you think about the Goodwood Festival with Speed being on Grand Smo 6? I like this. I really do. It's just something that they should have done a very, very long time ago. Obviously, they didn't do it in Grand Smo 5 or Grand Smo 4, but I'm glad that they've done it now at this game. It feels right to do it. And yeah, folks, it, it looks really good. I'm not going to lie. It really does look good. And um, Goodwood is a part of motorsport history you cannot disc you cannot uh disclude um goodwood as part of motorsport history because it has everything it has that iconic um rally course and the of course and of course the legendary hill climb track so and you know many many great champions in all kinds of motorsport have um, driven around this track and have walked around this track, uh, have walked outside of the track, you know, meeting all the fans. So it really brings that interactiveness to the fans and to the drivers as well. So that's why I think it's a good event. And um, this is my, uh, uh, next year, this is going to be my third year. So at the moment, this is my, that uh, I have watched it twice. Not twice in like I've watched it. I've watched it twice in terms of uh, the events. So I've only watched it in 2012 and 2013, and that's all. So yeah, folks, let's get right into it before I bore you guys and um, make you click off this video. So here we go, folks. Uh, first event, the Alpine 1600S. Off the line we go. Get a little bit of oil spin, but not too much to become a big problem. Down into the first corner, breaking hard. Coming out of this corner, through this next corner, down the main straight, passing the Goodwood House, passing the bridge now, coming up into Malkin. 27.3, breaking hard. Getting a good run out of Malcolm. Now, the next corner. The very, very deadly Flint Wall. Breaking hard. Going to be cautious through the Flint Wall. 45.6 coming through this next corner. Taking a wide entry to get good momentum out of the corner. And now down onto the start, into the fish. Uh, coming down towards the finish. One minute point seven. One minute one point seven. I mean, good time, good reasonable time, I believe. So on to the next one, sector one, challenge two, and it is the KTN Expo. Surprised they haven't put in the Goodwood Revival. I was very, very surprised because the Goodwood Revival is kind of part of the um, kind of part of the it's kind of part of the Goodwood Festival of Speed, you know, because it has champions in there which uh, interact with uh, the fans and uh, the champions drive at that track. So it's a bit surprising that they've done that, but whatever. Goodwood Festival of Speed is fine. Uh, to me at the moment. So yeah folks, 
Traction control on zero and ABS on one. Here we go, folks. So off the line we go, little bit of wheel spin but not too much, become a problem, like in the Alpine. 5.5 seconds, sitting into the first corner, breaking hard. Gotta be really careful because you have, if you have all four wheels off the road then you'll get disqualified. So I've got to be really careful uh, throughout this, um, throughout this uh, challenge. Into this next corner which is Malcolm, getting a little bit... Getting a little bit hot out of the corner there, coming into the flint wall, breaking hard, turning it in, getting a good exit through there, 37.7, breaking hard, into this next corner, now down the main straight, turning it in, 50.6 seconds, good time, good reasonable time I think. And now on to the final challenge, which is in the Ferrari Dino. So here we go, folks. Sector 1, Challenge 3, the final challenge of today. I'll be, there'll be many, many more uh, later to come on this Grand Smo 6 um, coverage, which is going to be coming, which is going to be uh, from now. So probably the end of January, as I want to cover, you know, more scenario mode challenges on Formula One 2013. See, yeah, folks. Those and by the way, those videos are going to come back probably at the start of February. So really, really sorry about this, guys. But Grand Smo Six, big, big part of my life. Cannot forget about it. So yeah, folks. So off the line we go. 6.8, good reasonable time. Coming into the first corner. Get a little bit of a, a slide going on. Really like the physics, I'm really, really enjoying the physics. Because um, it has that sort of lean to it, you know, coming through this corner. See, look at there, it had that lean going on. That looks incredible. That looks so realistic to how a car would actually respond through these corners. Coming out of the corner here. Coming down this final corner, down the main straight. 56.7 seconds. Good time, good time. And yeah, folks, thank you very much for watching. And it's your boy, Jabba Boy, when I'm out. Peace.